G'day, here are five of the best App Store games from September 2021. Also, I always forget to mention this, but we have a Patreon page where if you support us, we will each week deliver you a list of new App Store games each week. So check it out, it's in the video description if you're interested. I first played Night in the Woods on my iMac back in 2017. I loved so many aspects of this game. The great story that features really likeable and kind of believable characters with, you know, real world problems. The sound design is fantastic, and obviously the visuals are great too. But what I like the most here is how you can interact with so many little things in each scene. From jumping on letterboxes or bins, you can climb trees, window ledges, or you could walk across telephone lines. Who wouldn't want to do that? The iOS version was announced way back in 2017 by Finji and Infinite 4. It took them quite a while to port it to the App Store as they ran into performance issues, despite the game not really having very complex scenes. They had to analyze performance problems with Xcode's performance tools. I've linked a great article in the video description that goes over the game's development on iOS. It's a great read. Check it out if you're interested. Night in the Woods costs $5.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. From the people behind Atom RPG and Bomber Gun comes Operation February. It is a 100% free small adventure that is set in the same post-apocalyptic world of Atom RPG. Like Atom RPG, Operation February is still a CRPG with turn-based tactical battles. It is set in the end of the 80s. Players can choose between three characters. Each one has their own background, skills, and characteristics. There are four locations here, and in each one you will fight mutants, wild animals, and study an unknown signal. Ooh. The game has fairly decent 3D graphics and supports up to 60 FPS on iPhone and iPad or 120 FPS on an iPad Pro or iPhone 13 Pro. It also has keyboard support on iPad for in-game shortcuts. Cool! Operation February is available on iPhone and iPad. It is best played on a recent device for the best performance. Good job Square Enix, good job! Finally, you've brought a new game to the App Store with full controller support. I knew you could do it! Now if you would be so kind to add controller support to the Final Fantasy Remix, please. Act Tracer Renaissance, I probably said something wrong there, but this is a HD remaster of Act Tracer, which was originally released in 1990. It's not just a HD upgrade either, it now contains 15 new music tracks, new stories, improved gameplay, more action stages, an all new realm, more bosses, and autosave and difficulty levels. But the game still contains, you know, good old 2D platforming action, but it also has some city building simulation that sets it apart from games released in that period. It is an expensive game, $20 USD, but since it comes with so many new features and controller support, don't forget that, good job Square Enix on that, good job, I think the asking price is fair. Now Square Enix, please bring the game to Apple TV, please, as it's only available on iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. Pokemon is having a crack at the MOBA genre now, with 5 on 5 battles, featuring the classic characters from the universe. Originally this was a Switch game, I believe, but it was brought to mobile in September, and is obviously free to play, which comes with some issues, maybe. I was a little skeptical of this one when going into it, but it's actually not half bad, and it's not just a generic MOBA. I think the general consensus right now is that it is a little unbalanced, has performance or thermal issues, and there is a really annoying and unskippable tutorial at the start that's just so gosh dang boring. So maybe wait a few more weeks until it's all patched up 
but that tutorial probably isn't going away. Pokemon Unite is available on iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. If the developer is watching this, which they aren't, but please bring this game to M1 based Max because it would really work well there. Originally released in 2020, Monster Capture Adventure Nexamon Extinction finally made its way to the App Store in September. Expect a sprawling story, oddball characters, and over 300 unique creatures to trap and tame. Catching and taming is only half the job though, since battling with your creatures is really what this game is all about. Diverse regions, secrets, side quests, and more awaits during your epic journey. Unlike the PC and console version, Nexamon Extinction is free to try on the App Store with in-app purchases. However, it's not too bad. These include upgrades to storage, a skill master pass, different Nexo box options, and if you want to capture all the Nexamon and finish the game, you'll have to buy the full version. Nexamon Extinction is available on iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Apple M1 based Macs. Okay, so here are some bonus games. Nova Island is a completely free card battler with 1v1 matches. Take on one of many single player challenges or jump right into a competitive PvP mode and climb the leaderboards. You'll be happy to know Nova Island is free to play and free to win. In September, the great action platformer Dead Cells received a huge update. It now includes a free update with custom mode, new biome, new monsters, new weapons, and the Fatal Flaws DLC, which includes its own new biomes, new monsters, new boss, new weapons, and items. I discovered this one thanks to the iOS gaming Reddit page. Shooting Stars is an endless platformer of sorts, but you have access to six weapons that can be used to propel yourself upwards towards outer space. I like to think of it as kind of the opposite of down well with doodle jump cloud hopping. In September, the great strategy game Northguard received its multiplayer mode. You can play with or against other mobile players with up to six players. This includes dual, free for all, and team play modes. Dungeons and Miners is an excellent portrait mining and fighting adventure game. Despite the super generic name, it's not half bad, it's really good. What do you think of these new App Store games from September 2021? Definitely not the best month we've had this year. Not many games released that were that good, but hopefully there is something here that you can enjoy. If you did find the video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name is Stewie and thanks for watching.